Okay, so I already showed you how to do the poke and roll method. Today I'm going to show you a different method for making flowers called the smash and mash method. A couple of pros and cons about these flowers. Um, first, the cons, they may be a little bit more challenging to make. It's just a matter of paying a little bit more attention to more detail. It's going to be more structured. We're literally going to sculpt these petals one by one and assemble them together. The payoff, I believe, is absolutely worth it in the end because these are so beautiful. You'll notice that the petals are very 3D. Um, they have a very vertical position and honestly these just really look like flowers but you're gonna have a harder time sculpting these in the one to two millimeter range so what I would do is go ahead and start with your four three millimeters and work your way down okay so let's get started and I'll show you how these are made it's a very very simple process it's just a matter of getting used to it and once you do um, you'll be able to fly with this. It's so fun. I just want to make my marbled salmon here. That's good right there. Okay, I need to cut I'm going to do four petals here. So I want to divide this clay into four pieces. And I want four little balls. Each ball is going to be a petal. Okay. And I have five balls here because one of them will be the foundation that they will be mashed into. Okay, so I'm going to mash all of these into a round disc. All right. Okay. Now this one seems to be bigger than the rest. So I'm going to actually use that for the platform and I'm going to mash all these little petals right into this little ball right there. Beginning with that one. Okay, there's one. Okay. Let me get this up with there's another. See that? And these petals are just kind of standing up as I mash them into my little foundation there. Okay, that's loose. Okay, so I've got three petals on there. Okay, can you see that? 
I'm just gonna mash that right in there. Okay. There you go. So let's let me do another one. I'll do one more. So I'm going to start out with five little balls. And now I'm going to smash them into flat discs. Now I'm not smashing them real, real thin, just enough to turn them into um, little round discs because I don't want them super super fragile okay oops and now I'm just gonna scrape them up so that they're loosed from the tile always make sure before you bake your flowers also that your flowers are not stuck to your tile otherwise you'll bake them so that they're stuck to the tile and you'll you'll break them trying to get them loose so you want to always make sure before you bake your flowers that you can slide them across your tile like that okay all right so now it's just a matter of mashing these into my foundation ball right there All right, and I'm gonna roll my toothpick so that I can release it, otherwise it wants to stick to my toothpick there. So there's one petal. And there's four. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of stand them up a little bit. Almost like little butterflies. 